Is that how you participate in life? Is that how you are participating in today, this day, November 3rd? Are you participating in this manner? I'm going to say it again. Most people resign themselves to a pessimistic view and pray for a better life in the hereafter. Mm. Come on, y'all. Y'all know what I'm talking about? Let me keep going. Do you breathe? Do you show up and resign yourself in this day, in these days, with a pessimistic view and then pray for a better hereafter? Do you get what I'm saying? Because what we actually need you to do, I need you to do something different. And what society needs you to do, what our ancestors need you to do, and our descendants need you to do, and our children's children's children need you to do, is to be visionaries of means, not dreamers of ends. Y'all, do you hear me? I need you, your descendants need you, your children's children's children need you to do this. Society needs you to do this. You need to be visionaries of means and not dreamers of ends. Do you get what I'm saying? Let me break that down. Let me break that down a little bit. So to be a visionary of means, to be a true visionary of means, you know, this possession, do you possess these necessary, a necessary reality base for the formation of effective problem resolutions? So what does that mean? You're an active participant in this right now, instead of a passive bystander standing on the side saying, I'm going to pray for the hereafter, but you are actively participating in the means, the means being now. Are you vision, these visionary means is like the right now. Like you are aware that you own, you own answers yourself. You own the answers. Do you hear me? That you own the answers, right? You, inside of you, you own the solutions, right? That you have the capacity and the ability to possess a necessary reality for the formation of effective problem resolutions. Y'all, what? I just need to sit still for a minute on that. Do you know that you own that? Come on, y'all. But you know how you get to that? Do y'all know how you get to that? Do you know how you get to that? You got to sit with you. You have to be aware of you. You have to invite an awareness of this inner awareness where you own your own, where you get in touch with your true power, with your true nature of you, that inner awareness. That is what you need to get to that. Do y'all hear me? I'm going to be quiet. This is the sad part. Sadly, most of us have been socialized and we show up and participate as dreamers of end. Do you hear me? When we sit as dreamers of end, people that say, oh, I'm going to pray for America. We also, y'all know what else we do when we do that? We fall back and we begin to accept force as our way of being. What do I mean by that? When we fall back to force, when we want to see change, that means we sit back and we think that we need force. On its different values of expression. We think that we need to have law and taxation and we need rules and we need regulations and we need war in order for change to happen instead of sitting with us, gaining an inner awareness so that we can get to that effective problem resolution area of ourselves. Y'all, y'all, this is probably too much for y'all today, but it ain't for me. Do y'all hear me? It's not for me. So instead of you being a dreamer of ends, can you be a visionary of means of the right now? Come on, y'all. I'm going to be quiet. Because when we lack this inner awareness, we lack self-power. And we think we need rules and regulations over us. Come on. Yes, you have the solutions. It's already given to you. You want to know what? Usually when there's a problem, it's sit. the solutions are sitting right next to it. But here, here's the other thing I need y'all... Come on, Sherman. You said I'm on fire today. Girl, I've been sitting with this all night and all day. Come on. Okay, listen. When we lack inner wisdom, we often ascribe our actions and the way we show up to reason. A lot of us think we participate in life with reason. When in actuality, as humans, y'all know what we really do? A lot of us operate primarily out of pattern recognition. Ooh, y'all, I'm about to, I ain't trying to step on nobody's toes, but I want your toes to feel a little something when I say the next thing. I want your toes to feel a little, a little pinch or two, a little dab or two when I say the next thing, next thing, the next thing. Okay, listen, when in actuality, we as humans pr operate primarily out of pattern recognition, and I'm going to give y'all some examples of how you operate out of pattern recognition. OK, these practices or these proxies or how you show up, 
They show up as things that you hold dear and near to your heart. Let me hear, let me tell y'all about these pattern recognitions. You think you got some reasoning going on in here, but really it's just you participating in pattern recognition. Okay, look. When we ascribe to a religion and we like hold it near and dear and say, this is the way, the only way, and that's it. When we ascribe to that, that pattern recognition, because that's what you were taught and you haven't visited or checked into any other spiritual practices or any other way of being, you just adopt what somebody else told you as the way that's pattern recognition. You think there's reasoning going on in there, but it's just pattern recognition. I'm not trying to stomp on your toes, but I want you to be aware of your toes right now. Mm. When you align with a particular party, a, a particular um a, a Democrat or Republican, and you align with that, and you like, oh, I'm a, or a particular team or a particular way of being. When you align with that, and you have never ever studied or looked at any other practices, so that your inner awareness can tell you, mm, this is good for me or this isn't good for me. You just participate in pattern recognition. You think there's some reasoning going on, but you're just participating in pattern recognition. Do you hear me? Okay, you said it, Jeremy. Listen, and y'all know what y'all turn that into? You turn that into your truth. You turn that into your truth. So y'all know one thing I know from working with people for so many years, from working with people my whole life and being aware of people, people desire and need connection. Y'all, I'm about to break this down to y'all. It's simple. People simply need connection. Humans want to experience connection. And y'all know what? Humans want to experience connection so badly. They desire and crave it so badly that they will align just to get that feeling of connection or this feeling of aliveness, this feeling of being with others. They would align with some things that don't necessarily sit right with their inner awareness, but it gives them this kind of energy, this jolt of, of connection and aliveness. Do y'all hear me? Come on, y'all. You said, what you say about your toes, Toya? <laughs> yes, Toya, because a lot of times it's just pattern recognition. Y'all, the brain likes that. The brain loves this familiar, this familiarity, this pattern recognition, because it's safe. It's easy. But see, when you start sitting with this inner you and you start looking at the ways and how you show up and the things that you're doing, and when you start looking at why did I do that? What's at the root of that? What is that really about? It gets uncomfortable. And this, this, this discomfort can't do anything but bring you to a better you. But instead, we pull back and we be like, well, my mom and them did it. If that's what they did, that's what my cousin and them did. That's how I grew up, so that's what I'm going to do. That's pattern recognition. It does not take you to a better you. And y'all know what? Then you get to start praying. You start praying for the, the hereafter instead of being a part of this current means, right? To have awareness for this right now, right? You become dreamers of in, right? Y'all hear me? Y'all hear me? Let me calm down. Oh, y'all been thinking about this all night. So my question to you again is, do you resign yourself to a pessimistic view and pray for a better life in the hereafter? Mm. What y'all say? What y'all say? <laughs> I need you to be visionaries of means, visionaries of the right now, right y'all? And not dreamers of the end. Do y'all get me? Okay, go ahead and hold that mirror up for us so we can get really uncomfortable today. All right. So <laughs> when you align with something, I understand y'all. I believe I know deep down inside of me, we need connection. We love that connection. But some of this shit y'all aligning with, it ain't, it ain't for you. It's not for you just because your mom and them did that. Come on, sit and look at yourself and see this inner awareness. Come on, y'all. Mm. So here's what I'm going to say about today. While everybody getting all up in arms about the election, getting all up in arms about tomorrow. And just like my brother J. Miles said this morning, y'all know what? Just like it did yesterday and the day before and the day before that, the blue skies will always be there. The sun is going to come up. The sun going to show up. And you know what? The sun going to show up. And the blue skies, even when it's clouds all around, the blue skies will still be there. Do y'all hear me? I'm going to stop cussing, Chuck. I ain't even say, I said one thing today. Okay, you said I feel like you're being too direct today. <laughs> hey, look, y'all. This is what I wish. This is the type of school I wish we had. This is the kind of educational experience I wish we had for our children. I wish that part of our educational experience was teaching children how to go in, how to sit and meditate, 
how to practice this, how to sit and practice this awareness of self, how to sit and practice this awareness of when I made that choice, why did I feel uncomfortable about that? Not because, not because of an external motivator, like, you know, what children say, or people say getting in trouble. I tell my kids that all the time. Like, don't use that with me getting in trouble. Like who are you getting in trouble with? Like, who do you, you get in trouble or did I do something wrong? It's like, we're constantly, constantly functioning from, for approval from the external self instead of the internal self. So that's what those rules, those regulations, those laws, those taxations. I don't need somebody else to govern me. I govern me. I don't need an external thing to govern this. When I sit with me and I have an inner awareness, I govern this. I'm a whole universe. I am connected to the divine. I have these divine answers and questions within me. So I don't need these external things. What if we taught our children that? That's what I teach my children. I want you to be aware that you govern you. You don't need somebody telling you you're going to get in trouble or you don't need a grade to tell you that you did well in that class, that you perform. How many of y'all got an A in the class that you don't remember nothing about that class? Come on. But you sitting here talking about you got an A in, in physics, but you don't remember nothing about physics. Do y'all hear what I'm saying? Do you hear what I'm saying? You got an A in this or you got that, but you don't know nothing about that. This external thing is telling you that you have some value. Mm. I was just having this conversation with my daughter last night, y'all. We were talking about this experience of people liking us, like people outside of ourselves liking us. When it starts with, do you like you? Do you like you? When you sit quiet, when you sit quiet in your room and you sit for 30, 40 minutes and just look at you, do you like you? That's what matters. Do y'all get what I'm saying? Come on, y'all. Mm. You said you needed that reminder today. Today, these external things, come on. These parties, This if this party win, if this party win, y'all know what party need to win? This party inside of me. This party, this inner wisdom, this inner awareness, I need this party to win. I, I, okay, Republicans, okay, Democrats, but I can't even say I align with one particular. How can just this binary way of thinking uh, capture the wholeness of you? How can just that capture all of you? Do you hear what I'm saying? Yes, I like me. I govern me. I'm a whole ass universe. I'm a safe space. I'm it, right? I am. This is the divine. It is flowing through me. However, these external things will have me away from me thinking that it's these things outside of me that I need a rule or a regulation or a law to govern me. No, I govern me. Do you hear me? Okay. Learn to learn self. Right on. Right on. So I need to calm down and get off here, y'all. <laughs> okay, y'all. Like I said, the blue skies will always be there. Tomorrow, the sun is going to come up, right? And the way you participate in life, are you a visionary of means or are you a dreamer of ends? Are you sitting up talking about I'm going to pray for tomorrow? Or are you a visionary being aware of right here and now? being aware of what's going on, this inner awareness, and then that allows you to be wise in your show up. This allows you to be wise and have wisdom in your show up, in your show up, okay? Do y'all get what I'm saying? Okay, y'all. All right, here we go. I do have something I wanna share with y'all. So for our closing, I wanna give us a reading from the, the dopest Octavia Rahim. Y'all know Octavia Rahim, that's a bad sister. But today she posted this, and this is what we're gonna breathe with today. Y'all, this is what we're going to breathe with today. Um, get your fingers like this. Get your fingers here. <laughs> and then we're going to put our um, fingers right here, right here to our, right there to, what's this called? Our clavicle, right? Y'all see these pearls? Ain't, you know, you know. <laughs> put your fingers right here. Mm. Roll your shoulders back and down. Lengthen your spine. Think about yourself. Think about this divinity within you. Think about this awareness within you. Think about if you just participate in pattern recognition or do you sit with you and see you? Do you see a whole you? Come on, y'all. Do you hear me? All right, close your eyes and here's our reading. Notice your breath. This, these are the words of the, the magnificent, the dopest Octavia Rahim, right? She says, face today with devotion to truth, to freedom and love. Face today with courage. Face today honoring the sacred ritual of rest as a way to awaken. Come on, come on, Octavia. Face today carrying the wisdom and faith of our ancestors. Come on. 
She didn't say carry the religion of our ancestors. She said the wisdom and faith of our ancestors. Come on. Face today with your whole heart. Be willing to look and see. Come on, y'all. Look and see you. Come on, Octavia. Come on, family. Come on. Everybody take a breath in. And breathe that out. Let's do that two more times. When we inhale through the nose, we're going to exhale and sigh it out with the releasing. We're going to release some of those pattern recognitions that we participate in, claiming that, claiming that is reason. Come on, y'all. Take another breath in. Exhale, sigh it out. Another breath in. Exhale, sigh it out. All right, y'all. Y'all go ahead and open your eyes. And if y'all got today off, y'all might as well make it like one of them Saturdays that you grew up in where your, grand your grandma or your mama used to make you clean the whole house. Just turn on some earth, wind, and fire. You hear me? Um, and go on and get the broom or get the towel and write and wash them, them whiteboards around the edges or go on and clean that bathroom. Y'all might as well use this, ba this day for something meaningful, something purposeful. <laughs> Because that's what I'm going to do. Go fold them clothes. If you ain't got to work today, go do something that has some, some meaning and some value, right? There, that's a pattern recognition you should participate in. When your mama used to get you up, my grandma used to say, unass to bed. <laughs> All right, y'all. Have a good old Tuesday. <laughs>